Alrighty, it got cold out, so we got Mr. Mr. Heat going. So uh, this thing's pretty nice. It warms up my garage. If you can hear me, it warms up my garage pretty good. Mr. Heater. Okay, here we go. I got the tops for my tables now. I got two of them. I'm not quite sure what I'm gonna do. I need to uh, sand them down, get them a little level, and then cut them square. So I'm going to kind of start working on that. I'll let you know what the plan is. You'll see it, in fact. You, in fact, see it. Okay, I'm going to turn some music on, turn that jet engine on. Get jamming, get this flat, we're going to get this flat. That's where it's at. We're going to get this cat flat. Yeah, we're going to jam it. Okay, I think it's too loud. Get distracted. So I'm going to turn it down. So and redo this clip because that got away from me but, but basically a lot of people I've seen on YouTube basically use a chisel but the problem I have with that this is super dry it's been dry for about a week and a lot of times if I go at it it might gouge it if you have a scraper that might work sanding it off is really a pain in the butt but at this point kind of giving it a shot but you can see discouragement is kind of leaving the building and uh, it's actually left the building at this point. And I think what I'm going to do is use a belt sander. Uh, you can actually see my finger working my brain. Um, I think that's what I'm going to do is get a belt sander out and try to get this flat and get this uh, glue off. So I'd like to introduce you to my little friend my electric belt sander. Okay, Screech, let's back up a little bit. Um, I did have some footage, and just so you know, I did take some time in trying to scrape this. And uh, you can see it's kind of tedious. Big chunks there and uh, no bueno. Some of the smaller beads of glue actually come off pretty good. But while I was doing this, I thought, maybe I'm doing this wrong. And I was kind of thinking about the bevel on the chisel. And I was kind of wondering if maybe that's there to keep it from diving into the wood. That it kind of slip up as opposed to, if you put it that way, it would dive down. So. I know it's probably just to push wood out of the way when you're doing straight edges, but just wondering if anybody had any thoughts on that, on uh, architecture of a chisel. It's probably a book, the architecture of a chisel. Um, anyways, I just kept going as best I could and uh, got a little better at it. Uh, I came on this pool of glue. And it's so big. It's huge. Look at that. And then I saw that. A big crack. So I'm going to have to deal with that at some point. So at this point I'm like, okay, let's see what else there is. So I kept going. Like I said, I had two end tables, so I have two tops like this. And uh, I'm just trying to get them uh, cleaned up a little bit. So we moved along here. And... Uh, the way of the chisel. I Another way to probably do this is with scrapers, which are like credit card looking things. Kind of have a sharp edge. I do actually have some, but my wife doesn't know where they are. And so that means I don't. So getting to the point where I'm gonna fill some of these holes, uh, it's basically like a crazy glue type thing. And then this is an accelerator, which helps it dry the knob. It's backwards, I know it is. So, here's a little crisp, uh, compressed air. So I'm just cleaning the surface off a little bit. Now some of these holes, you may want to put them on the ceiling. Wait, I got this upside down. So, I feel like I realized that and then stopped and turned it around. Uh, you may wanna get a little pick. You can kind of scrape some of this out. Um, 
and then uh, kind of get some of those pieces out of there and then I'll come by with some compressed air at this point I'm kind of feeling like a dentist because I'm uh, got picks and air and uh, I'm asking the patient to stay still and so all those things but I'm, I got a black uh, crazy glue so I think that kind of looks good with maple um, so I start filling that in there as you'll see in a second oh well there it is I kind of zoom in and the reason I zoomed in was the way it dries at this I don't know if it's this particular brand of people have experience with this but it kind of craters it reminds me of lava rock it has a lot of air gaps in it and then uh, when you scrape it off um, you'll see little pockets that are still in there of air and essentially what that means is you'll have to go back and fill it again and uh, what seems like again and again and so I just continued on with my dentistry work pressing uh, spraying some accelerator and uh, and then when you keep looking around the wood you start seeing more and more little holes it just seems like they just don't stop and I think they start having little babies after a while if you don't get them filled up. I don't know what the deal is, but when you start looking at the details of the wood, start noting there's a lot of um, blemishes. And then once you think you're done, then you flip the wood over. And then you start it again. And this particular side, look at that crack. It's a huge crack. And so this one in particular, I just kept filling it up and then would scrape it and fill it up. Um, a little segue at the beginning of the video, I just want to speak uh, to me dancing. It wasn't my first creative idea. I just want to put that out there as a guy that uh, my wife brought it up. It was kind of funny. She's like, you should just dance to that music. And what I heard is, you're a monkey, dance monkey, dance. I'm like, okay, all right, I'll do that. <laughs> and then I go, well, you got to film it. You know, it's kind of like, if I'm going to go streaking, you got to film it, you know. Anyways, um, kind of had an old school moment or something. I don't know. But it's fun. I like doing it. So um, I like having fun. So anyways, back to the crack. Uh, so you just keep going. And now it's getting awkward because I feel like there are so many holes I filled here. Uh, I should probably speed this part up, but now there's kind of an awkward pause here. And so I might just uh, put some music on. I could talk about that bracelet, which I can't seem to find. Um, if you see it in one of the shots, uh, please point it out to me, but I think it just fell off my wrist. I've had that happen several times. And that was a gift from my lovely wife who makes me dance like a monkey. I don't think she thinks I'm a monkey, but sometimes she, I don't know if she treats me like a monkey. But anyways, she does buy a lot of bananas when she goes shop it. I don't think there's any correlation. But I'm just filling space. Let's put some music on.
Okay, I'm not doing anything else until I warm my feet. I'm actually going to turn this thing off. It literally warms my garage up to where it gets too hot in there. So, warm my feet up, turn it off, and get ready to get the belt sander going. By the way, that music I played is something I did in my little loop machine. So, that is an original. Be hado. So, get this thing plugged in. And, uh... Get ready to rumble. Um, I would highly suggest putting masks on. I think I'm using an 80 or 120. Can't quite remember. But I'm going to clamp this down because it will literally uh, move this board and hit me in the, you know, bananas. Try to get these ridges, you can see here, raised up. Now you really got to lean into this. Um, a lot of pushing and pulling, uh, trying to keep it as flat as possible. Uh, these can be pretty aggressive, and so you got to be somewhat careful. But uh, doing little circles, going back and forth. Like I said, I literally, I, uh, I boy, I felt it the following day. The problem with hardwood is it's hard. Yeah. That's what I realized, that it's hard. And so, flipped it over. This wasn't terrible, to be honest with you. Um, again, I just want to emphasize, put on a mask. Um, if I put the audio on this, you would have uh, uh, skipped this video, because super loud, put some ear protection. I didn't used to believe that in my younger days, but anyways, this is after sanding. This... I am just really disappointed with the the super glue. There's still gaps. Um, it also, I think, might even stain the wood. Um, so it's just no bueno, no bueno on the super glue, black super glue. Look at those holes, ginormous. So finally finished that, and. Uh, oh. All right, free again. Citus is free. Daddy like, I think it's pretty good actually. Yeah, this stuff, uh, this belt sander would take a lot of material off, so you really gotta be careful. This little crack makes daddy saddy. I don't know what to do about it. I might cry. Figure something out after that. It is done. This is why an air compressor is good because. Uh, I live here. Okay, we were able to break into the house, thank God. I'm ready for some coffee. So while that's happening, uh, next time we're gonna go ahead and probably try a couple different techniques and fill in those knot holes in particular. Otherwise, the wood's looking pretty good. It's got a good uh, flat, smooth surface on most of it. Um, not sure about the crazy glue. Might try some epoxy or something else. Uh, we're also going to cut the, please tune in because we're going to cut the tabletops to square and get the beveled edges in there and start getting ready to make some legs and so on and so forth. So thank you for joining us. I'm going to make some coffee. Please stay tuned for the outro. Okay, yeah, and one other thing too I forgot to go over. Um, I am going to be doing videos on other items, like I'm going to review my car, other projects I might review that I've done to kind of go over those. I really would like to, this is a collective, so uh, 
I want to assimilate to what people like and so please leave comments of things you appreciate. I don't want to hear anything that you don't appreciate. I'm just not into that. So things you like, let me know. Appreciate it. Okay, I think that's it. I think we're gonna call it a day for now. We'll check out. There's the missus. She is a lady. But anyways, thanks for tuning in. See you next time.